Hi everyone. I'm just going to show the little scrapbook mini I made for Tolina at the mini album Scraps Doc Neen group. And um, I didn't get a lot of information from Tolina as far as a particular book she wanted or anything. She told me just to go ahead and make it how I wanted to, and um, so I kind of did. <laughs> um, I haven't made very many albums, so you know, I just I tried to keep it clean and simple inside, and I almost succeeded. And you'll see that in a little bit. Um, so anyway, so I want to describe what's going on here in the front. This is a an envelope mini album. Envelopes very much like this. They, the envelopes were four and one half inches by six and one fourth inches, with two chip, heavy chipboard frames. The book, fin the finished book measurements are five and one fourth by seven inches. The paper I used is the DCWV Rustic Stack. And I also used basil mono orange textured cardstock for the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. These were some of the pattern papers I used inside from the collection. There's, there's several other patterns in that paper pack. So on the front, I use this is the background from the, the stack. This is a die cut doily from Cherry Lynn. These, I believe, most all of these roses are from Wild Orchid Crafts out of England. Uh, this is a tag that I stamped with My Thoughts Are Happiest When You're In Them. Uh, this was a um, mover and shaper die from Tim Holtz and at the last minute I added this little hat pin with a little tiny bit of shimmery gauze on the background there. I have little tiny pearls in various areas throughout. I believe this spray is a uh, spell, Spellbinders Creative Memory or um, Heartfelt Creations die. On someone else's scrapbook mini video, I saw where she had left some of the wires from the roses and had just coiled them up to look like little tendrils. And I kind of I like that idea, so I left that for these. For the binding. As I said, this is a an envelope mini. The binding itself actually wasn't bad at all, but you know we always like to make things a little prettier. So I put some of the rosette ribbon from that I purchased from Joann's, and it was actually just a uh, cream color, and I dyed it with some stamping up. I think it was pool party, but I'm not sure. Stamping up dye ink. And then I just uh, put a little bit of the Tim Holtz distressed vintage photo on there to kind of shabby it up a little bit more. And as I said, I was trying to I tried to keep the album simple because I wanted it to lay as flat as possible. Um, as you can see, it it still is a little bunchy. Every time I added something to it, it just bunched up more. Uh, so much of the items in here are made out of cardstock, and I suppose if I had just used scrapbooking white paper, that would help there a little bit too. But anyway, so I I added a block here that she can put, Talina can put a photo, um, or whatever she'd like to do there. Oh, also, I'm going to be including some extras for her to, to use in the album as she sees fit. Uh, I've got some extra die die cut corners here. Um, I also have a German scrap 
circle piece that she can, Talina can put here over a picture possibly, if she so chooses. Um, and a few other things. I've got some photo corners that I made. And a few other odd, odds and ends. So she can possibly incorporate some of those in here if she'd like something else. And this is just a, a photo pit mat right here. This comes out. It's held with the, this is a die, it's a punch from Martha Stewart. And we just put this back in here. I'm kind of doing this backwards. I should have filmed it the other direction so I could use my right hand. Um, and these are just some little journaling tags. I just found a little a little pad of those at Joann's. Okay, so these are uh, the envelopes and I've slit the edges and punched them and I made these photo spots here and they, as you can see, they slide in and out. Got the little tab from Stamping Up Punch to pull it with. I tried to create a lot of space for pictures. Talina has many children, and so I know she needs a lot of space for her pictures. So, And here I just put coordinating paper on this side and right here. And I made a little tag. This is a die I have. I, I don't remember who it's from. It's a European one, I believe, and it's black and very thin, a wafer thin die. And I created a spot in the back there so that she can do some journaling if she likes. She can put a photo there, put a photo on here, or she can slide other memorabilia in there. And as with the other page, this slides out. Comes over here. More photo, most more spots for photos, and as I showed earlier, this uh, we've got some photo corners that can be used here. That or one of these, but she needs to have the photos in there before she puts those in there. And this is a die cut. It's a Tim Holtz doily on the edge die. And I just glued two together. Those were cut out of the same paper, but even though it adds weight in here, they're not very heavy on this thing, so it's a little flimsy, so I glued the two together. And then just because I I love it, I had to add some stickle, some sparkle on there. And here is a homemade bread using some of the cardstock behind there, and then you put the little epoxy top on that. Okay, and this one slides out also. Actually, I may reverse this one, oh, but we'll do that later. The next page, there's a little pocket here. You can slide that out and add a photo, add some journaling. Stampin' Up tab punch, and it's attached with Tim Holtz Tiny Fastener, which I absolutely love, that little stapler. It's a, smaller stapler and fits very well in the hand. I use it for almost all my papers now. <laughs> this is a uh, Martha Stewart Deep Edge Punch that I just recently got. I don't know the name of it, but I really like it. I think it's very pretty. Okay, more spots for photos. And you could do some photo, do a photo here or journal or anything else in there. I made this pocket with acetate and I ran it through uh, with an embossing folder to get the kind of the diamond pattern on there and then I applied a sticker. This is a sticker that I got from Joann's a couple years ago and that just kind of gives it a little extra oomph. On this page I created some little frames. This is an old Spellbinders die and I adhered these with repositionable foam tape from Suze Weinberg and then I backed the little frame with acetate so it's like a little an actual little picture frame and then she can just stick them right back on there after she's attached a picture to it.
And here's some more, more photos. I included just some extra little tags if she needed them. She can use them for journaling or photos or whatever. This is a tiered pockets, one, two, three pockets on that page. More room for photos. And then here's the last page. I put a brad in that just to kind of create some bulk up in here to even the bulk out. And added a, a rub on and boy I had a heck of a time with those rub ons. I don't know if they were old or what. They were a cane company rub ons. Um, but this is textured paper too, so it doesn't work as well as smooth paper. So I had to glue quite a few of these little branch tips down. And I hope they don't come out to Lena. And on the very back inside cover is this beautiful die, and I that's either Cherry Lynn or um oh I can't remember what's the one that starts with an M. I knew it just a minute ago, sorry. Um, Mary Mary Ann, I think maybe. And then here's a here's a little tag she can pull out. And then here's the back cover. I didn't put anything on there. The The paper is very pretty. I don't know if you can see that. It's got little bits of glitter where each line intersects. Six, and it's very durable paper and I just wanted it left like that so she wouldn't have to worry about placing it on his back that nothing would happen to it. I added just a decorative punched edge here which I included in the front along with another one. I don't think you can see that kind of aqua one there behind. The front has two of them. And and then onto my charm. This is my very first charm I've made and I can understand why people really enjoy doing these. I didn't want to make a chunky one. I left mine kind of long and lean. And um, what I did was uh, I just took chain and added some of the charms to it. These are crystals and pearls and I love that color of that one, kind of aqua color. This was a real pretty little charm, I think. And then on the other dangly piece, it has these. This, what I used to attach this one here was actually just a, a bracelet or necklace toggle, I think, but I thought it worked out pretty good. So, anyway, I really did enjoy making those, and I'm looking forward to making more for f future book, mini albums. But anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed looking at this and. Um, I really hope that Talina enjoys it and is able to get some use out of it with her her family's photos. So I'll bring this up a little bit closer here. You can see the flowers. Okay, well, thanks for looking. Bye.